There's not much any of us can do to stop gas prices from going up, but you can take several common sense steps to squeeze more miles out of every gallon. Without a doubt, driving style plays a large role in a person saving gasoline. Whatever speed you're accustomed to driving at, lower it. Accelerate gently, brake gently. Uh, when you're on the highway, lower that top speed. And in fact, the EPA says that with gasoline near $4 a gallon, that for every five miles per hour above 60 miles an hour you're traveling, it's like adding 25 to 30 cents per gallon of the gasoline that you're buying. Fuel economy is one of the highest priorities for automakers. So much so, a manufacturer like Chevrolet has an entire team of engineers dedicated to reducing gas consumption. One of the myths on fuel economy is that running your air conditioning, you lose fuel economy. It's not always true. Below 40 miles an hour, it is better to open your windows, and you, we would recommend opening your windows because the aerodynamic drag is not a big part of the car's uh, losses. But as soon as you get above 40 miles an hour, aerodynamic drag becomes predominant. And under those conditions, you want to close your windows and run your air conditioning. Another factor in fuel savings is how well maintained your vehicle is. And manufacturers, the AAA and the Environmental Protection Agency all agree this is one area you shouldn't skimp on. Skipping vehicle maintenance, you might think you're saving money, but in the long run, you're costing yourself money. Engine oil is one of the biggest variables for fuel economy. That's why you want to keep your engine maintained with the best oil and filter changes on a regular basis. Be sure to check your owner's manual for grade and viscosity. Other simple fuel savers, keep your tires properly inflated, avoid driving during heavy traffic periods, and make sure your gas cap is closed properly. For more vehicle tips, visit the certified service experts at your local Chevrolet dealer or go to mycertifiedservice.com. I'm Chris Hansen.